All right. Down, test, voice. Down, test, voice. Down, test. Okay, sounds good. Down, test. How about the game audio? How about the game audio? That sounds okay. That sounds okay. That sounds okay. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So let's Wait, I should take off the echo. There we go. Okay. Transition. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so I've been wanting to try. This game, I've used to play this a lot. I have almost 2,000 hours in this game. I have not played it since like 2017. So, I wanted to try to run my hand at it again. Very rusty, but you know, best way to go that oh, off. Best way to go about it is just jump right in. So I'm gonna try for an achievement I don't have right yet, which is a uh, great perm, great perm, uh, on very hard mode. So uh, I start as the vessel of Muscovy with uh, CB on Kazan and a CB on. Uh, must give me for independence and one for land. Oh, these are not set up like I remember them. Uh, huh. So, I want to change this E, not betrayed. I want it to be, um, where is it? Um, I'm assuming for states and territory. Yeah. So I have fours here, if I see that correctly. No, I don't. What is this telling me? You don't own this pro. You don't, but you do own provinces in this state. Oh, okay, so that's not what I was looking for. So I'm, I'm looking for like my cord land. So not staying territories. Maybe. And it's the unrest, religion, culture. I swear there used to be a uh, Oh, diplomas, diplomacy. So it's the diplomacy map mode that I that I'm looking for. And it's telling me I have a core here, and yeah, that Muscovy is my overlord. Ooh, the states have changed a lot. So uh, okay, clergy, they don't care. Nobility. The crown controlling only 29.9% of my land. We received a bunch of negative effects. Oh, so the nobility owns too much. The crown is me. Oh, so I don't own enough of my land. Oh, that's new. I didn't, that didn't used to be like that for sure. Uh, so the crown is me. I need to own a certain amount of my land. Uh, burgers only own this. So, uh, it's not very. So their loyalty is fifty percent, and will drift towards equilibrium. Equil equilibrium. Every month, by uh, negative. So equilibrium is currently at thirty-one point nine. 
as long as it saves at least 30%, which it would, they will benefit you if they drop below the threshold, they will become disloyal. So 30% is the threshold. They would stay at 31. They would stay at 47. They would stay at 32. Ooh, this is very different. Oh, this is so different. Okay, so this would give us five more loyalty, five more influence. That would be bad for my crown, which I want to bring up. So if there are one of these, I would bring up my crown. No. Uh, so these are, do they still have like the events? Like you get, get points out of these guys or does it look like it? Uh, these are all passive effects. Other than this one, this one has a morale of army plus 5% when at war with heretic or heathen. Uh, morale of army minus 5% if you're at war with, if you're at peace with heretics or heathens for 15 years. Morale of army. So in clergy, that's clergy, burgers, bunch of negative crown land. How do I get my crown land back? All the states will gain five influence. All the states will gain five loyalty. We'll summon the diet, set, an agenda. Gain a bunch of money. That's nice. Sell 10% of the crown land lands to the state. Not good. The land controlled by your state changes. All the states gain 10 loyalty. A seize land. Okay, this is how I gain more land. All estates will lose 20 loyalty. Rebels may rise if a state drops below 30%. So this might actually be what I want. Or it will summon a Diet Senate agenda. All estates will gain five influence. Which is this number here? An estate influence the power they wield, a high level influence will. Increase both benefits provided by the loyal state and penalties suffered if they are disloyal. In a state whose influence increases more than 100%, it has reached a seizing power. This one seems also useful. I don't know what agendas are. So I don't know what to do about that. But let's... Seizing land seems like a good idea. There we go. Now I have more crown, crown land, and that's all of states will gain five loyalty back. Okay, so what's the thing? Proposal of the clergy, the increased tax income in Yostium agenda. Clergy request that we invest in the prop prosperity of their land. Complete completed when the following is fulfilled. So we get we have to get the base tax of a province up to three. Upon completion, we'll have the following effect: clergy will gain ten loyalty. Will fail if it is not owned by perm. Failing will also have the following effect: gain five unrest. Uh, clergy will lose five loyalty. So and then here we have nobility. Upon completing the following effect, nobility of states will gain 15 loyalty. Oh, that's better than uh, the 10 loyalty here. But, uh... So I, I need to make friends with Novgorod. For nobility. Complete the one the following. Novgorod, the opinion of Perm, is at least 50%. Upon... We will fail if... One, if... We are at war with them. If we own less than one city, or if Novgorod's opinion goes down to negative 100. Okay, and this one complete when the following, all of the following must be true. Perm has 50% or more trade power. What does that mean? I don't. Burger call for us to increase our commercial presence. Oh, okay, in the White Sea trade node. It doesn't specify. Oh, is it? White Sea, okay, that's what the top is there. So we need 50% trade power in the White Sea. Let's see. Uh, trade. 
put trade back here. See if that's even feasible. So white C is up here. We currently have really we have we have thirty percent already in white C, right? Not that far off from fifty percent. But we would need to take uh Okay, that's because we have this uh level one inland center of trade. If we got this from Novgorod, then we would be in a good position to <laughs> that would give us 50%. That would complete this. Uh, we gain 10 loyalty from burgers. We gain a skill one trader uh, of Uralic heritage. This advisor 50% cheaper. Failing will have the following effect. And what do I get for this one? Which is definitely the easiest one at the moment. Uh, it just gained more loyalty. There's very little reward. And this one gets me 10 prestige. So this one's the easiest, but the reward is very lackluster. Just a lot of loyalty. This one gets me a trader. Not necessarily the best thing I'm looking for. And this one gets me prestige. But I don't want to do that one. Is that my, uh... Is... No, okay, so that's not even... The one they want me to improve is this one. To have three... Uh... Base tax of at least three. Our base tax is one, so it's not even my capital. I don't see the point in trying to improve that. Uh... This is a settlement. The colonists will work to promoting settlement in the province. Oh. Okay, and raising development by one in a random category. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So you don't if you have settlement settlers, you don't have to use them for settling. Uh, not that we have any, but if you do. Okay, so, or I can try to make peace with Novgorod, which would be very hard given they already have, they have cores, they want my province. Or we can try to go for uh, Muscovy here. Let's unpause for a little bit. If that's a day, did Muscovy, did you set your intentions? You have one core on Novgorod, so that's not that bad. So let's go with uh, burgers here. Uh, I don't think we have the income to have any advisors, but let's ignore that for now. And let's see here. We need to convert provinces. Ooh, that costs money. That's new. Uh, we have the money, so let's start, I guess. Oh, development? What? It will cost 0.3 to convert this process province. It will take approximately 59 months. Missionary will have... Okay, so that's because... Of... Okay, so apparently it costs money now to do that. Uh, currently no icon commissioned. Need temp patriot authority to commission a new icon for all churches. I can't even do that anyways. Okay, so what's our missions? Uh, oh, let's see. Apparently, I can't do anything here. This looks different than it used to. Missions, though. Uh, you have security independence by force. We will recognize no overload. So, there's not a subject nation, and capital is port level three. Or we can consolidate, consolidate the state. Uh, so stability two, number of states three, army size at least 100%, at least 100%. Uh, global dominance, white sea, perm is the strongest trade power in the white sea. Uh, white sea is the highest value trade node in the world. Wow, these are, these are all pretty heavy. Uh, Defender of Fate, not Age of Discovery, uh, Religion Unity of at least 100%. Uh, 
Okay, so none of these are in any way something I can get anytime soon. Can I even make fort level threes? So if I built a fort, would that, yeah, that would give me fort level three because I my capital plus the two there. But I would also need to be independent of Muscovy, something I can definitely not do right now. Uh, so let's see here. Built spy network on Novgorod will be one of the things I do. And military. How do I set up uh, the economy? I don't want any army maintenance or fleet maintenance. I also oh wow, I definitely feel the rust. It's so rusty. Or it looks like this one feudal feudal nobility has already been selected for me. I can't do that anyway. Uh, production interface. Define army template. Group mercenaries regimes. Make cores naval units. Development states. Diplomacy. Anyone wanna? Support my independence. Lithuania is actually really close to wanting to support my independence. That is interesting. Uh, influence. Let's see if Lithuania is willing to send us a friend. Uh, okay, arrival announcement. Great Horde, Kazan, Poland enter military alliance with their new friend, Austria. Okay, so let's speed this up. Lots of rivals. Uh, 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 what is... I swear I remember there being a way of being like, to tell your allies... I want this province. I do not remember how. It's like a red and gray screen. It's also like their preferences. I guess you're not an ally, you're my uh, overlord. But maybe that's why I can't see that interface because they're my overlord. I can't set preferences. Either way, I can try to, I can try to get a claim on here. Uh, to oh, join the trade league. Okay. Well, I can't really control where we go to war yet. I can just try to make friends with Lithuania so they can uh, support my independence. Royal marriage from Muscovy. Will that put me over my diplomatic relations limit? All right. Where do I see that? Yeah. Diplomacy, I guess, would make sense. I don't remember where I see diplomatic relation limit. Or is that even a thing? I think that was a thing, right? You can only have so many allies. Let's accept it and see what happens. Oh, I found it now. I saw it. So that means they are not.
Lithuania is ruled by a personal union, royal marriage of Poland. So that means now that Lithuania can't. Uh, yeah, I need to redo these. Oh, it's so annoying. Uh, but that means Lithuania can't support me anymore, right? Now, if I want support, I would need to go through Poland, which are significantly less likely to want to support me. So I guess uh, I should stop trying to improve relationship with you. Oh, what is this? Our relation. It will, we will lose prestige? I don't know why it said prestige minus like that. Uh, you guys are all too, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. I'm poor here. Okay, so go back to the political view. So who is most likely to, Novgorod is the most likely to support my independence, which I am buying on. The Emperor can reign in Italy. Okay. Important. They're the only person that is could even slightly consider supporting my independence. Uh, but they're still minus 25 because they have pores and stuff. So that does not look very likely. What is my uh military limit? Five. So let's go bring up to five. And how do I see? So over here now, I should be able to go here. Vert. Fabricated plane, but I need 20 fabricated plane here. Now, obviously, I can't declare war. Oh, I can. Oh, you can only declare war if you are not. They hold a province that you have rightful state core perm. Yeah, okay, Vassels can't fight their own war, which is what I expected. How would this look though? 45k wheat, this does not look like a... Yeah, this would not look very good. Perm has 5,000. Yeah, but we have more potential. How about over here? This looks significantly more likely. We we definitely would have no problem taking care of them up here. Uh, if Muscovy was so inclined. They do not appear to be so inclined at the moment. But, uh, look at that. They also have all these other Vessels. So I can't take on an army of 25,000. Surrender of Maine. And military alliance with Novgorod. Oh, well, that makes that, that interesting. So now if, if most of the attacks here or here, Oh, then I feel like it might be not unlikely that you could get me out of this. Uh, but if I fabricate take a claim on you all of a sudden you don't want to help me, right? So relationships, let's try to improve relationship with you. I'll keep my spine network going, but uh, yeah, I feel like I have to take the opportunity. Oh, my king died. That's not good. My arrows, very good. My queen, not so much. My stability is low. My religious unity is real, real bad. 
gonna leave it at that right for now. There will be blood. Who is attacking who? Okay, so these are just uh, German. Not important. Lose 15 prestige, sounds good. Oh, that means I should be able to... No, okay, I, I need 10% to select the uh, icon. Oh, he's moving his men. Uh, I want some point. But hey, he's moving his men all close to the border here, so it feels like he's going to be attacking here. There we go. Okay, now support my independence and let's get back. Let's take him out while he's uh he's weak. Let's do that. Uh, nothing not relevant to us. How close am I to getting military tech? Not even close. I can get some churches. No, not worth my money right now. And you, you, you don't want to support my independence, all right? Because you really don't like me. Our overlord. We will automatically embargo all of their rifles, which brings down his opinion of us because we are embargoing him now. Yeah, now it's or further. We were so close getting him to be okay with us. Can I just say this is now Birdie. Where is diplomatic? There we go. Uh, so much better. Q should be diplomatic. E should be. There. Okay, so that's better. Uh. The only Nagarod at minus seven. Everyone else is not interested at all. Oh. Why would you even come here? Stop that. Don't do that. I don't want to have to deal with you. Oh, we're almost done with this war. Fifty-four out of fifty-eight. Fifty-four or fifty-seven. How close are we to our oh we are almost done with maximum improved relationships too. Uh, we might need to give them a gift. Favors. This is uh need ten favors to ask for five trust or prepare for war. Oh is it over here? Oh there it is. That is what I was looking for. No, I want to also make it clear that I have intent for over here. Maybe uh, Muscovy will be nice and let me have it. I want also everything here. Give me everything. Hopefully that doesn't make you unhappy. I still want your land even if, you know... I want you to help me be independent, and then I take your land. Ah, recall diplomat, diplomat. So close. Just need you, uh, so close. So if I go here, uh, economic action and gift. Oh wow, okay. 
I don't have that kind of money. I don't think that would help enough. Let's try to build a spy network for you too. Oh, but I wasn't in that. So Pern, oh, sorry, pause. Pern gets tax income loss, national tax modifier, but nobility gain loyalty. But yeah, definitely don't want to lose another stability. I'm too far down for that. So now Muscovy is a great power. Oh, we have no diplomat, but they would now accept. So let's return that guy. Blood. You can now new technology. Let's not do that just yet. I want to keep those points firm. Okay, so now is there anyone else that wants to now that I have one person supporting my independence? Is there anyone else? Razan. <laughs> don't care about you. So now if I declare war. No can you bring your friends with you, please? Uh they are our liege. How do I so do I always get negative five, I guess? Or is it because I'm loyal? Uh, let's see, where am I? Oh, my liberty desire is pretty. I'm not loyal at all. My liberty desire is 69. Our overlord decided to placate us. Our liberty desire went down to minus. And the great horde. Kazan is preparing to attack Great Horde in a war of aggression. Okay, so you're gonna attack you. These rumors are coming from everywhere. Well, look at that. We don't have to embargo our allies anymore. He's doing this to try to bring our liberty desire down. Opinion of Muscovy, trust towards Muscovy. I don't want to declare war against you. I want to see you. Can I get you guys to turn on him then? Right? That would be. Uh, uh, okay, so they can out. They can. But they are loyal, though. Okay, so you have, you're a pretty big, but yeah, you're still, your main problem with you guys is that you're loyal. That's why you won't go against him. Put you back in your place. Yeah, so Kazan declared war on great, on the great horde. Uh, that's. Build the spy network here. To claim to fabricate a claim is gonna cost me twenty-five or just twenty. Just twenty. We'll see if he starts moving his men eventually. But I would like to convince you guys that he is not a good not a good ruler. Not exactly sure how I would do that though. Wow, Kazan's really kicking the great horse, but
Conversion. Hey, look at that. Good job. Uh, next one. We're just going to go by cheapest one. Our unity here should be better. Only 50%? Wow, that's really bad. Okay, so I should be able to fabricate a claim. Apparently, only one I can do is you. Didn't they already have a cast belly on you? Why is it red now? It wasn't red before, it was uh, game four innovativeness, 360 days left. Okay, so it's probably red because of the innovativeness. So I guess let's get it then. I can build temples, but it's not really worth it. I don't think anyone has. Ooh, nah, nah, this is kind of worth it. Point, oh, point 0.9, never mind. It's, it's worth it once it starts being point 0.1. At least that's my rule of thumb that I go by. Uh, so now the next claim be to 25. Yeah. But I have I can't make any more further claims. So it's kind of pointless to spy on you then. Uh, for Muscovy spy, it needs to be at least of size 90 to use the market, must be a subject. Requires diplomatic technology 27. Well, never mind. I can never, definitely not do that. Uh, we'll have to keep. So it's complaining about military. I should get military now if I want more innovativeness. Let's get military just because that does definitely, that is nice. Having all of that military. Military level 4. My memory tells me it's very good. So who else can potentially. Or is diplomacy? No one else is even close to willing to offer me more alliance. Muscovy wants to be my ally. So if you guys were not loyal, you would, you both would definitely want to be my ally. If you were not loyal, you are definitely loyal. So that's not happening. But if you were not, don't know how you make someone unloyal. Break roll of thighs, support air, then gifts. Plenty of people would take my money. Something over here. Marketplace plus trade range. Trade range. Talking about trade range, do I have any diplomatic missionaries? But I don't. But most of my tr merchants are set up. Are they set up like I want them to be? Countries that have not fully embraced the Renaissance will receive technology cost of 1% per year. So Renaissance has started. Institutions uh, started right here in Milan. And nothing I like it's growing here. Uh how do you see that again? Where do you there is a way to see this? This one is, how do you see this again? There we go. Open, closed institutions. So 0.5 per month because it has 10 development and it is European. 
but I do not have anything that is 10 development or European. So I can definitely, I can't do that just yet. I have one diplomat. Might as well make friends with one of you guys, right? If you ever decide to become disloyal, you will be perfect for my uh, current plans. What is my loyalty? 62, so I'm disloyal. Relative power, 100.9. 100 so if we could get all the vassals disloyal, we can take Muscovy plus Novgorod. We can take Muscovy. Oh, cool. it actually shows you who else would be called in. That's neat. But yeah, at the moment, we don't have the manpower or the military to handle Muscovy plus all his guys. I need to find a way to... I can try fabricating a claim on him. But I don't feel like that would bring down everyone else's opinion of him. It would just bring down mine. So that we can we can set that up nonetheless to bring down my opinion. I'm disloyal. I'm even less loyal now because I have a claim on you. <clears throat> but I feel like uh, that's eight here. Somewhere is it? State and territories. So this is its own state. So if I want to go in that direction, which is a direction, I do need to conquer this land for the achievement. So that is definitely something I need to do. But uh, yeah, I need to get uh, exploration, I think. Be able to get myself some uh, ideas. Assuming ideas still work the same way. Uh, let's see. I think exploration was under admin. Expansion. So colonists, merchants. Oh, my queen has died. That is perfectly okay. Uh, expansion. Minimum autonomy, autonomy and territories. That's different. Uh, so yeah, it's probably what I want to go to. What are my advisor costs, cavalry costs? And rest. None of these are very good. I just need to wait for my opportunity to strike. You, let's start uh, improving our relations with you as soon as I can. Campaign against secretism. Tolerance of the true fate plus one. Clergy is happy, they gain influence. Oh well. Looks like we're doing that because I can't have the clergy be unhappy with me. Seize more land, but I don't have. Yeah, I can definitely not seize more land. And obviously I'm not making any progress towards Age of Discovery because, well, yeah, I'm not making any progress to anything. Well, to accept an offer of knowledge sharing from Novgorod. Because they don't have feudalism. Is that what I saw? They don't have feudalism over here? Yeah, okay. They don't start with feudalism in Novgorod's like, hey, I'll give you some of that. Uh, not want to lose a stability. That's real bad, though. I'm guessing it's this progress here that I lost. Spend 20 to have the... 
Fed administrative costs, governing capacity plus 20. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Oh, looks like we're going to go at war soon. Who are we fighting? It seems to be getting ready over here. Uh, where? What is his prerogative? Right here, that's... Seems like Novgorod territory. That's a good thing I set up. So he placated us. Try, he's trying to make us loyal so we join him in the war. Because he knows that like us being not loyal means we don't have to join him in the war. But he looks like he's getting ready for a war. Something's going on. Grouping up all the men in one stack. He's either going to go against Kazan or Novgorod. Nope, nope, he just split them up in his train, training again. So I don't know what all that activity was, but he, have, he appears to have changed his mind. And I still have not changed mine. I do take you out. It does suck we have negative three stability because they are our liege, though. Not much I can do about that, though. Uh, I'm disloyal, and that doesn't seem to make it go away. Oh, no, I'm loyal now. Oh, look at that. He placated me enough that I am loyal. Yeah, I'm loyal. So I wonder if he's going to try to take advantage of that. Is there anything I can do to try to make myself less loyal? Uh, I can fabricate another claim. Maybe that'll make him not like me more. Anyone else that can do something to help me here? Poland is thinking about it. Let's give Poland a knock on the door. Poland, think if I can get Poland to join me in my war of independence, I've got this. They were quite far off of being like, yeah, we'll do it, but. It's definitely possible a few changes in affairs and all of a sudden they're like yeah I'm up for this so yeah Poland just needs to lose a diplomatic relationship and stop being neutral to us or stop hate or start hating Muscovy like a rival buff would help but uh, they're thinking about it and if we do it right now that we get our first idea which is going to be a uh expansion because it's the only way i can make myself more powerful without depending on muscovy so expansion i'm going to focus on admin so that i get even more admin do i have enough money no i don't have enough money to buy an advisor uh yeah that's oh that's nice that's new uh, we can get a base tax here, or we can get stability. Don't. Oh, stability is low, but it's... I guess we are getting a little bit of political. Okay, let's get the stability. But, uh, it does kind of suck that as soon as I try to fight for independence, my stability goes away. So it's something to keep in mind. He's getting more people. Bigger armies. I don't like. I don't like the look of that. I can obviously not do a bigger army. So Poland, uh, where's, where's this support? Nope. Still not willing to give me a support.
I have 50 now. Can I do anything? But gain one production efficiency for 50% cost and 15 prestige. Gaining positive prestige is not the worst idea or some money. Yeah, that's not a lot of money. Let's go like that. Which classification was he in? Oh. Is it, was it this guy that yeah production efficiency optic which is not good I guess but uh, he's cheap not cheap enough a cheap nonetheless I can't do anything with my diploma with my uh can't like say I don't like you and an insult Oh, I can can I do that? Can I go here and be like, I don't want you come back. Then I can go and send an insult to you. It will cost me five prestige to make it scornful. What would have scornful do? They will degrade our relationship and give them a cast spell against us. Take your misdeeds and are told from Ireland to Cassai. Scornful will double the loss of opinion but also make their enemies like us more. So Denmark will like us more, Novgorod will like us more, Zan will like us more, and Poland would like us more. That seems worth the five prestige. Let's get that done. I'm still loyal. They just don't like, they don't like me. I like them. Uh, there will be blood, not people we care about. That should also help with you. Will you support me now? You're gonna support me more now? Actually, you're down to 70. Ah, down to 70 is actually not the most unreasonable. Uh, so let's go back to building ourselves the uh, by network and let's hope that Poland decides to help as currently our best you are still willing to help right but you and me we are not enough but you me and Poland would definitely be enough need to If you could get rid of those diplomatic, like if you get get rid of one of your diplomacy, and that would bring you down to 47. And then that would be nice. The last one, very expensive. We do not have the money for this. But hey, look at that. That unity is going really going really good. Poland, say you do, tell me you do. Anyone else? Raizan is, oh, is tempting with the idea, but you are very small and worthless. Same, a Muscovy, <laughs> no Muscovy will not support my independence. That's never gonna happen. I am infertile. Why not? Do I have an heir? Okay, so I already have an heir. Good. Uh, so I can get the next level of military. Yeah, I don't see a harm in that. Prove my people. And keep waiting. There will be blood. Yeah, not the one that we care about. 
Right. If Lithuania hadn't joined the personal union, we'd be in a much better position right now. If they were right off the bat willing to help. Lose money. Yeah. Recall diplomat. What do we gain from here? A defense? Great range. Nothing very important. But now we have like 10 years before they will even bother us with that, which is nice. So close. If they just got rid of that too many diplomatic relation debuff, they would say yes. Uh, ignore them. Hmm, what do I do next? Ups if I break prestige and oh minus one stability. Not gonna happen. Uh you let's see, maybe I can improve my relationship with you. Maybe you'll change your mind. Because I know you don't you're also a rival of Muscovy. Like all the rivals of Muscovy should be like, yeah, let's get this done. Novgorod, Kazan, and Poland. Uh and Denmark, apparently. Uh Denmark, do you want to help? No. They cannot reach Muscovy. They definitely don't want to help. Gain one base tax in Ustvum. Uh, that would make the burgers very unhappy with me. Or gain one base production in Ustvum. That would make the nobility very unhappy with me. I will go with Burger is being very unhappy with me. Yeah, they are disloyal and now I have a bunch of negative things. Mostly to my trade. And some unrest. I can do governing capacity. What's governing capacity? This is a new modifier. Burgers will give me... But I lose 5% of my of my land which I cannot do this one max absolutism changes which is not relevant right now they would get uh, yearly prestige increase national tax modifier decrease and I gain so what happens if I do this okay and does it stay permanently I thought it would make them happier. By offering patronage to the prominent artists, you can give them the world. Okay, but now what? I clicked on it, but their loyalty is still really bad. Hmm. Yeah, no, I can't do that for sure. We'll keep, we'll keep an eye on that, but I was hoping that would help a little bit more than it did. We can support their rebels. We cannot support their rebels. Ooh, new idea. That's a new... Uh, why is it innovation? So if I do this, do I get innovation? Yeah, I do get some innovation. But I also get corruption? Why do I get corruption? I don't understand. But colonists. I definitely want colonists. Okay, so we need to set ourselves how we want to treat the natives. I usually... These are pretty harsh natives. I usually like going for the harsh approach, but I don't have the military to handle that. They, the natives are as populous as my whole military. So maybe uh, the friendly approach. And then I can go here. Then, and, and hopefully that I can do that like without going broke. Like that. We are bigger now. 
We are now losing lots of money. Uh, can we sustain this? Doesn't really look like we can sustain this. Uh, and if I recall, yeah, I can't, I can't sustain this. Oh, but even without... Okay, so this is still... This is still get taking our money even without the settler there? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, it's still so just having this territory with or without a settler is still. Let's see, do we have any change here? Minus one thousand. Oh, minus one hundred. Same, not same religious group. Too many diplomatic relationships. What about you? Are you in any better of a situation to give me support? No, you are not. You're still too many relations. I can enact government reform. Reform progress. Government capacity. I still don't know what that is for. Or I could pick this. So curtail normal privileges. Enact this government reform. We'll remove 100 government reform progress. National tax modifier plus 10. Noble influence minus 10. Uh, or we can strengthen their privilege, which national manpower modifier. Uh, I do like my money. I don't know, and I could use the nobles having a little bit less influence. So let's go in that direction. So now they should have less influence. Yeah, now they're under 60. And we should have a little bit more taxes. Nice. So what I can do, there's this button here, promote settlement growth. Uh, so if I bend in this, because I can't afford it, but if I go like this, does that cost money? Oh, that, that cost money anyways? Where is my money? Uh, bring that down. So colonize, make one colonist. Okay, so that does cost me to pull two ducats. Put it in here for a 9% chance of adding one base stack. That's actually pretty good though. So if I put him here, how much would he? 24% chance of adding one base stack every year. pretty neat uh, I still can't really afford it really hoping I could uh, find a way to grow without having to like rely on him finally deciding that I'm worthy of his cause oh what's going on why is Muscovy's army getting weaker at least this like relatively now I'm up to 50. And you still don't want to because of a bunch of stuff. A agent was discovered. So that's fine, I guess. Oh, he's gone. So Muscovy isn't attacking anyone, but he is like... Get some prestige. He integrated a vassal, maybe that's why he is now seen as weaker by Poland. Poland sees him as weaker. If he just didn't have that too many diplomatic relationships, we would be all set. You just have so much manpower. Look at that number of manpower. Oh. Yearly prestige, but some. Yeah, let's just do that. Get, get our prestige up a little bit. Oh, we have revolts. 
we gain some independence or we use some diplomatic uh let's see this is for Ust him so you would get a really big revolt Now, question is, would they walk over to Muscovy or would they stay in my land? Uh -huh. That's okay. I'll just give them the 25% local economy. I don't care much for this minimum development land over here. Something went wrong. Recall. And you definitely don't want to join me, do you? Oh, 70. Again, some of these are really close. 48 out of 7. You're already saying yes. You just need to... Okay, so you don't have too many religion... Uh, you just need to start liking me, I guess, would be the key here. Let's go back over here and uh, top off our our relationship look at that I'm back to being disloyal very nice burgers are still very much unhappy with me no one cares about tear lose one of your relationships and I will be so happy Call. What about Novgorod? Maybe I can top off Novgorod relationships. Not that's too important. He already agreed to uh, give me support. I just need either Kazan or Poland. I need someone to be like, yeah, we'll help. I have not succeeded yet. Yeah, it's too expensive. I feel like I probably could gain more by trying to expand. I, I have to do something. I can't just keep here and waiting. I have to do something. We'll find out. We'll figure out what we can do about money in a little bit. Austria, uh, diplomacy, anyone else? So just Poland, Kazan, and Ryzen. I don't care about Ryzen, they're too weak for me to care about. Can't afford that. Some Akunu and Austria. No, thank you. So I don't think this one's going to happen. They they would need to like change religions or start liking me, which I don't think either one of those are going to happen. And I don't really want a merchant right now. I could use the global settler increase. Merchants. So I have one here collecting, right? So now we have prove relationships or just yeah. So we have one here that is collecting at this node. We have this person here collecting. How do I how do I tell anymore? Um, firm collecting from trade so I can do I have any influence here I have 1% influence here well it's not like I have any better influence there so I can transfer trade and I can I can't send one person here oh I can't where can I send them then 
Do I not have the trade range, trade range to even use this merchant? Looks like I don't even have the trade range to use this merchant. Uh, the state loses 10 loyalty. I don't really want that. Yeah, I'll take it. So I guess I would collect from trade and I don't have like the only two places I can go that are in my range. I, uh, doesn't really look like I can do much about that. So now I should be able to select one, right? Let's see, what what, what can we get? Uh, cost 10, Patriarch Authority, but I have that. And give me manpower, recovery, speed, discipline, unrest. Our treatment, uh, yeah, yeah. relations. These are our only options. Mm, that one's kind of nice, but let's go with uh, the military one. I do see myself going into war soon. There's no like economy one, like give me more money type of thing. That it would be ideal. Uh, uh, and there's no institutions going on right now. Yeah, let's do that one. Recall. Go back to this view. No, definitely not what I want to do. Oh, okay. I clicked on the wrong person. Uh, check their independence. So, more clergy gets more loyalty. Clergy very much likes me. Or I can gain money. No, no. I don't care for money that much. I was found again. Uh, you do not like me enough. Not like me enough. You like me plenty. I'm going to have to figure out something to do eventually. No one here wants to have an ally with me. Yes. Oh, look at those numbers. They are significantly better now. Uh, is there any chance that I can get Kazan on board with this? I highly, highly doubt it. Okay, so it looks like I should be good to get this on the way. You guys better carry me because I need it. Uh, I need to defend my capital, so that's all I need to do is defend my capital. I need you guys to carry to carry me. Uh, I can't afford port. So let's try this out. Is my ruler? That's yeah, not that bad. And oh, I can't. Oh, I have no diplomat. Diplomat sound. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to military. I mean, income. Pay my military. So are you last chance to help me here? Nope, still don't want to. Okay, so let's give this a shot. We should crush them. Like, look at these numbers. We have, we should crush them. Yes, let's go for it. Trade League disbanded. Not really my concern. Yeah, I am very much unstable. Oh, my air is kind of hearted. That's nice. Yeah, so I have rebel uprising. I need to. Uh, and all of my points on trying to handle this. You guys can stay here. 
Uh, let's try to clean some, get some of these lands. Oh. Oh no. That shortcut. Maybe we want to go over here. Not want to get my butt kicked. What? Oh, what? Am I really that slow? Wow. Run, 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 run. Run as soon as we can. Oh, we lost all our army. My war exhaust is high. And, well, that's a good way to start. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this agenda, that's for sure. Oh, it's not the correct type of agenda. That's the whole army right there. Why are they going over here? That uh, seems like strange behavior. No. Oh. I need you guys to come and assist in defending my capital. Uh... It gains 15 loyalties, burgers lose 20 loyalties, or nobility lose 20 loyalties in the state. And burgers gain 15, or clergy gains 15, and nobility lose 15. Right, right, why is it so? Oh, nobility gains 15 influence, I can't have that. I'm gonna make the nobility unhappy. It's gonna suck. Oh, look at that. Uh, they're willing to give peace. They will be giving war reparations. Decline. Let's decline that. I, I want that. Uh, war percentage yeah so he, he basically controlled everything we just need to hope that uh, Novgorod and Poland Lithuania can pull this out for me I cannot do anything I don't even have gain, lose, yeah, that seems worth it. Look at that, there's, uh, he just left 5,000 men there for some reason. Uh, yeah, peace offered, I don't want. An un un assigned merchant, as expected. Gain 15 army tradition. Burgers lose 10 loyalty. Oh, why? Guess burgers are going back into negatives. Muscovy is no longer considered a great power. That's good to hear. I like to hear that. Is this Moscow that's going to go down soon, hopefully? They're obviously going to take my capital. I don't see any way that anyone's going to stop them from doing that. Oh, maybe a revolt will stop them from doing that. Nope. Close, though. Very close. Ah. The revolt almost got it. Peace offer. But if we get uh, Moskova, Moskva, uh, that should help. can't recruit any men until someone takes back some of my land so this will put me in a pretty bad position but I would be independent so you know can't win them all type of thing but you I would like you to like come free some of my land or something that would be nice oh Kazan has declared war on Muscovy are you gonna come free my land for me, please? Like, you can come here, free my land? I would, I would not complain. Come take my land, it's it's up for grabs. 
not this. Don't. I want this. I want, I want this too. Don't take the. Don't, don't. Don't take that. No, I want you in here. I want the. Uh, the war score from that. Ooh, that is tempting. Need more stability. For a 10 loyalty and some patriarch. Yeah. That is tempting. Okay, my stability should be down back to zero. War exhaust is through the roof. Because my whole country is occupied. But uh, we are still doing very good on the war score front because uh, basically because of Poland. <laughs> Poland is carrying me so much right now. Uh, speeding up their technology development. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to confirm that it was on very hard because uh, so far, I, like, I think we're going to be independent. So, so far it's not that bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's uh, recruit a guy. Please, let's recruit a guy. But, uh, yeah, and one way to check if someone doesn't border you, you, they should have a very hard negative modifier to becoming your ally. That is set, so... Uh, so lose money to gain some nobility, loyalty, or administrative power, and loot. Well, money it is. For that we might, if we can take this back, we would be in such a good state for me to, well, I can't actually, I can get independence, but I can't take any land because Kazan has occupied these two pieces of land here from me. Yeah, I know. You want peace. You want out. Date eight. Okay, my agenda failed. Look at that. I'm gonna soon be completely. Someone sent a gift. Must be sent a gift from. I have so much war exhaust. I don't really care about it. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the claim of the air down. As soon as we get this back, we basically won. Now, what do I want out of this other than my independence? So Muscovy will a lot of Novgorod land. So it's suggested is a lot of Novgorod land, some reparation, independence. Total of 11.7 prestige. I don't think I'm going to get much of that. Lots of PP. So none of this really, be the only thing that really benefited me there is uh, grant independence. More reparations. But I, nothing here is like give to me. It's all give to Novgorod. They can't give me anything because of Kazan being a pain right now. Rebel uprising because of my massive amount of war exhaust. Let's not. Let's let you go uprised. And hopefully, uh, Poland can take care of that for me. How are we still? Yeah, we're still a year away from, uh, anything like that. I want to focus on the war right now. Okay, so that is... Don't go away. Stay here, please. Uh, allow friendly units to 
patch. Look at that, we are done with conversions. So I can grab my next idea, which would also get me advisor cost. Or I can start saving up for the next farm estate, ramparts, and such. Let's not do any of that right now. No, don't go anywhere. I'm about to get rebels. Not really. Piece of offer from Muscovy. I have basically everything I could possibly want other than the fact that I can't take this land because Muscovy of Kazan is not because Kazan has this occupied. And obviously Muscovy can't do anything about it because Muscovy is completely destroyed now. Uh, so super peace. So I have those two things. What about releasing nations? Would cost. And none of these nations are particularly good. And none of these returning of cores would be particularly interesting either. None of this seems good for me. Like, I guess I can feed Novgorod a little bit to try to get them to owe me favors, but it doesn't seem very good for me. Let's get you out. Uh, war reparations, all your monies. Uh, shift. All your money for reparations and let's get you out oh, what's this peace offer from muscovy i'll do my own peace offer thank you So, yeah, independence. You can always try this. Like, do something with it. So, that would mean I am now independent. Uh, they will pay me some money. And... They will steer things my way. Oops. There you go. I'm independent. Look at that. Okay, so... Novgorod and Poland are my allies. Now, how can I attack Kazan? Uh, you guys wouldn't help me. And your ally to the enemy. And if I attack you, Kazan would help, but Poland would not. So I'm independent, but I am not really in a better position than I was before. Just a little bit. Now I have some trade. Where's my trade? It's this one. So. I should have a lot of trade influence here now, no? Or at least they're being, they should be forced to steer their trade influence in my direction. So that should help with a little bit of money there. Fallen countries are likely to accept condentiarity offers. Or condentiary? I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, offers. Oh, I have a lot more money now. Though. That part's nice. Uh, so let's increase the size here. And let's go back to trying to expand this. Uh, what does this say? I can get four innovations 30 days left if i do diplomacy diplomacy right now 
expensive. Oh, it's so expensive because of the whole I don't, I'm not smart anymore thing. And same thing over here. Militia, cavalry. Okay. Uh, so once I send that guy over, I should actually be able to start taking you. Because you're 50% off, so you're not the worst. Let's get ourselves a little bit of extra points. I do want to... S uh, no, I don't. I, let's take this. Yeah, let's take that. Alliance breaking. Love Grodd. But you just... Why? Don't do that. Don't do that. Navagrod would like us to transfer 15% 15 15 of our trade power all share knows to them. Uh, like I don't have much of a choice. Currently negative 1,084. Trust. Trust is negative 1,000? my trust with them so low deeply distrust perm is this because i didn't give them anything during the war oh that was a bad idea then huh i want to get married they do not but you, Poland. You want to get married? Yeah, let's uh, let's solidify our relationship. So if Narvagra decides to do something, Poland here, he's my he's my bud. He's gonna help out. Uh, well then in that case, no, Narvagra, I do not want your. Uh, ah, these guys are gonna gonna suck. Oh, I can actually provoke. Oh, I should have done that while Poland was here. That I don't have to deal with this. I don't have an army. And they want to convert Perm to the incorrect religion. Definitely. Harsh treatment. Seems like it's going to be this loop for now. Parse treat them until we start getting a little bit of a military. But, uh, oh yeah, and, and uh, let's not pay for said military that I'm trying to get. Uh, and do I finally have? Broke their alliance with us, that is expected. I still can't reach here or anything like that, so I have a merchant that still can't do anything. Uh, do I have anyone else that wants to do anything with me, uh, diplomat? Nope. nope, no one wants to ally themselves with me. Uh, I don't want to. I have a spy network on Muscovy. Is there anything I can do with that? Steel maps. Let's do that. Hey, look at that. I can see something over here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Not very useful right now. Uh, I'm assuming we have a truce. I can still start building. I don't have a truce with you. But Poland is not willing to come help. But uh, Poland would help if you attacked me. So let's see what I can do about building a spy network on you. Let's build up the army. Yeah, it's looking good now. Now we can actually have this running.
What are we at? 64 settlers. Look at that, we can actually grow now. Boost 10 prestige it is. I am very unstable already because of this massive amount of war exhaust. Let's uh, not push our luck. Can't change my oh manage attitude hostile hostile threaten mm. fifty a minute point wow but uh, that is a lot of points what is my authority at zero so that losing is not I just lose. Clergy, uh, like you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that. With those points, those points seem very beneficial. But Kazan seems to be having a hard time closing the deal against Muscovy. Oh, nice! That is a good bonus. Uh, the Mamluks are going to war. Not important. Look at that, that was a nice little bonus. Okay, so they are good. Merchants still can't do anything about that. Disputed succession. Not gonna try to go into that yet. And advisors, none of these other advisors are at half cost, so I'm not, not. I'm gonna try to pile up some money, not spend all my money just yet. Uh, and my religious unity is 100%. That's good. So we just need to ensure, so we need to make sure that we never lose our friend here, Poland. He is our, he, we, we survive off his shoulders and we should strive to remember that. Muscovy will take us as a are you where is the whole oh because i don't have any diplomats to send that's why <clears throat> let's stop building on you temporarily i'm curious on this whole on uh, where where oh, offer condottieri first army so they would pay me you will offer Muscovy the opportunity to hire your army, which is kind of good. I don't want Kazan to get any stronger from us for some of one ducat a month. They will pay the total cost for first 18 months up front. But I can increase price? No, I cannot. Not even a little bit? Okay, it has to be by that much. Uh... You can rent out a maximum of 23 maintenance cost per month. So am I telling, like, he's going to not even pay me the cost of these units? He's going to pay me less than what these units cost to maintain. Is that what I'm seeing? This unit costs 1.8 maintain. And he is willing to pay... Well, I guess I don't get the, yeah, I don't get charged maintenance anymore. I don't know. I've never done this before. This one. Ooh, maybe I can. No leader. What if I'm the leader? Will he pay me more? I cannot do that because they will not take it if I'm the leader. Uh... Good. That's better than me. Uh, so let's see. Will you pay me more now? No, he will not pay me more. Well, let's send him out anyways. So now I can. I still control these people, but they have to fight on his behalf. Oh, pause. I thought it was pause. Uh, oh. 
Okay. That's this place, right? This place could get another 100 people, or they can get a base tax increase. Uh... Base tax increase sounds really nice. Let's do that. Okay, so as I was... So the expectation would be that I would help them fight off some of this stuff. What? Fort maintenance on borders with rivals minus 50%. Ooh, rivals. Do I have access to rivals now? No, for me. No possible rivals. Never mind. I do not have access to rivals. Uh, but yeah, so what was the idea here? Center of Trade Upgrade Cost, minus 20%, and Fort Maintenance on Borders with Rival. That's not that bad, but, uh, yeah, let's not do that right now. It's not necessary. It doesn't help me in my current colonization efforts. So, negative 50 local protectionism or local unrest. Yeah, fine. I don't care about your opinion of me, so that's, uh, there will, rumors spreading, get not, not important, I don't feel like that kind of project, like that was worth it. I don't feel like it was worth it. So, let's go over here. I do want you to lose, so there is that. But I kind of don't want to... I don't want my guys to lose any men either. is a big army I do not want to deal with. Very good. No, I do not want to attack. Where's your army must be? There's your main army. I'll, I'll help your main army fight. You know, back up. Uh, what? Well, I guess I'm losing some nobility. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with that many men. Oh, that's a large army of Kazans. Yeah, Kazan has a lot of allies. Even with, even with, or I don't have access to Poland right now because I don't have enough favors. But even with Poland, and they would not do it for land, obviously, because they don't have any land. Uh, but even with Poland, that's still pretty big. So I guess we just wait here. Maybe I can take this back. Great efficiency, Neff. Or we lose some money. Let's lose some money there. But hey, we're this is almost halfway done to actually having some progress and growth. What's this? This they're disappointed. I'm doing sieges. Oh, the war is over. Cancelled our, our arrangement. What's this? Tributary for Uzbek. Oof. Uh... 
want us to become their tributary. If we accept, they can demand that we send them money points. We will still be able to be independent diplomatic relations. They are pretty big. Uh, I have Poland. Decline that. Let's go over here. We're back up to not paying for our military. I don't know if that was worth it or not. We didn't lose any men or anything, but uh, now we have no access to uh, Muscovy. Now we have. Now I have to go through either Kassan or Novgorod to be able to. Wow, you have a lot of things. Why would. So they're allied to a bunch of people. Yeah, I do not want to become your tributary state. I want to make sure Poland's still very happy with me. I'd love to be able to take war on you. But this would not go well. I need I need uh, favors from Poland. Almost actually. Oh look at that! I have enough favors from from Poland. Talk about timing. Would you come now? No, because you're now fighting in another war and in debt. So you're still not any helpful. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's take this. Next few points will be going to the next uh, batch of points will be going towards our ideas, but let's make sure we keep up with technology while we can. Our uh, institution will catch up pretty bad. 20% already, and there's not even any progress. Uh, clergy, or we get some legitimacy. We don't really care for that. Let's actually please the Kurds clergy. It's not like they were offering us more administrative points. That is so tempting when they do that. I see that and I'm like, ooh, I want that. Oh, look at that, Poland is now willing to help me. So if I click here, now we are not, we are still not, wow, they still kick our butts. Oof. Hazan is just such a, such a threat. And if I go over here, they're not willing to help us just because I have to towards enemy, accepting would destabilize Poland, but they also have a truce. But uh, significantly better than this. Yeah, 64, 22, and 112 compared to 45, 9, and 100. So. It would be significantly better for me. I can't make it there. If we fought Novgorod and Kazan together instead of just Kazan and his allies. Um, we also, it would definitely be better if we only fought one of them. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. But not much I can do about that right now. How long do I have for a truce here? Uh, where is me? Oh, that's me. Oh, truce is almost over. I can't attack Muscovy anymore, but my truce with Muscovy is significantly longer uh, than my truce with uh, Pern. I mean, with uh, Novgorod. Novgorod finishes in February, which is very soon. Are you similarly? Truced up with Novgorod or Okay, you don't even have a truce with oh you're wrong, wrong country. But you you don't have a truce with Novgorod. Enemies, rivals, I don't have any of those. Peace. That's good. So this is we got a bonus over here. 60 per year, it's really good. Ooh, some more min points. I like that. 
So in February, we will see what our options are for... Uh, I can't afford... Well, you don't have any rebels anyways. I couldn't afford it anyways. Our truce with Novgorod has expired. You are not willing to help because you like... Novgorod. And it would destabilize you somehow. Why would it destabilize them? They don't have... Are they like allied with them? No. They don't have a truce with them. What flag is it? It's like a weird looking flag. I don't know why it would destabilize them. Uh, but... So I guess we just, uh, we keep waiting. Maybe they'll attack us and then uh, Poland can come to our aid, or we just grow and take over Siberia. Slowly but surely. Oh yeah, I feel like uh, maybe I should look into these estate things, right? Uh, no, not seize land. So let's see, what can I do here again? So let's see, are these different? Uh, complete one default. So Vyatka is owned by a country of Orthodox faith. I don't know where Vyatka is. Uh, so this one, so taking over this country would make the clergy happy. They would lose five years of separatism and we would gain 15 clergy happiness. Uh, Nobility would like us to claim on your whole area, a whole area, and through all province in the Ural area. I should add area map to my map short keys here. Oh, so which, where is, what? Ural. Firm. Where is, what? Oh, here. All profit, but that means, there's nothing for me to, there's no one that owns this, or maybe, it's owned a little bit by, yeah, it's owned a little bit by Uzbek. So, I mean, this one would be attack Uzbek. And this one, uh, develop. Who de develop, uh, this guy here until we have free production. That's actually not unfeasible. And we gain a little bit of money back. But I don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, I'm good because I, I plan on taking that land, so I might as well make it a little bit even more beneficial. Ooh, someone's strict. I like that. Five percent discipline. Good, good, good. Aragon had to achieve a golden era. I just need you to stop liking Novgorod and start. Okay, well, I see you don't like Kazan, but we're not fighting Kazan. That would be suicide. Well, oh, look at that. We can steal maps. Uh, can we steal anything from Central Asia? Or we can't do West Siberia. Oh, West Siberia. Over 29 province or Central Asia would give us 55 provinces. Let's go with 55 provinces. Thank you. Uh, I can't steal any maps from you. You seem very less useful to get. Uh... Uh, so Uzbek is over here. Pegatai, Nogai, and. Oh, he has a little bit of a. Muscovy separatist problem? I like, I like. If I can get Muscovy borders again, 
I'd much rather fight Muscovy than Kazan. I can't select any rivals, right? No possible rivals. And no one rivals me. I'm too weak to have rivals. Or have anyone rival me. Well, let's get rid of this. So obviously, we're not gaining anything. It's at zero, so we're not, not losing anything. Uh, not lose our progress there. And I want to improve, go back to maximum improved relations. Uh, oh, that, okay, so this central trade upgrade, we have a trade up here, right? How do we upgrade it? Click or right click to upgrade or downgrade. Uh, upgrading a market town requires 10 development, but this probably only has eight. It also requires 160 ducats, but you only have 83. Okay, so I do not have anything close to the requirements needed for upgrading perm. How are we doing on money? We're doing pretty good. Oh, apparently, uh, now you have to deal with it, not Austria just uh, gained big time from the succession. I guess not. I don't know what. Oh, they formed a union. Okay. Yeah, their union. So Austria is now a great power. Gain a level two trader. Uh, for 50% cheap. The Orthodox fate. Trader goes here, right? Yeah. So I can get a level 2 trader for half the cost. It's still way too. Uh, they took care of those rebels. I'm not happy about that. Oh, I can actually increase my army size. Not know of that. Uh, one innovation for 20 prestige or innovation that is this thing here right yeah we have a lot of innovation uh we can get yearly army tradition decay yearly navy all power cost that's kind of nice well, right now all power costs are minus like 33 uh so one of them though it's not that big of a deal especially not for 20 prestige so let's just get myself some more prestige and uh legitimacy and let's uh increase to maximum size of army i don't want anyone thinking that uh we should they should attack us maybe we can attack them but not the other way around Stop liking Novgorod. We've been oh, Polish manpower is down too for some reason. Oh, we are at a hundred spy network. Is there anything that we can get at all? Uh, we can get a trade conflict, but otherwise, the it's not very useful right now. And you are doing pretty good. Recall. We're almost to the point where this will be fully settled. Oh wow, France declared war on Austria right off the bat like that. You're a great power and I'm going to bring you down. You have a lot of maps I want. So let's keep the, the uh, trade network there, but it is not until we are discovered. But for now, it's nothing I can spend it on. be nice if you like reduce their happiness or something oh, you're at war you're at war with France you're defending against all oh, I don't like that at all I don't want you involved in this yeah I don't want you involved in all this I want you involved over here
I'd have money for that if it wasn't for the fact that I was uh, trying to expand my influence. Oh well, this is more important. If okay, so we did get discovered here, so let's just get rid of that. And where, who else should I? Pretty sure this is uh, the this color over here comes from you. Let's build this uh, spy network on you. I'm concerned. I'm surrounded by people that want to try to kill me, and no one here wants to be my friend. Yeah, look at that, finally. But I can't see here, here, or here. So I guess I have to send my next person here. Do I want to make it a state? I guess I have no other use for states right now. Three out of our governing turning your own into a state will use three out of our governing capacity, bringing us up to seven. Oh, so that's what that is all about. Let's do that, but uh I'm sorry about that. Oh, one moment. I have to sneeze again. Oh, that's no fun. But maybe it's somewhere in here. So I see three states, zero territories. Okay, government capacity. So currently using four out of 200. So I'm guessing that's the state limit or something along those lines. Uh, so let's make this a four. And look at that. Now we have so we can tell from here that Uzbek owns two here and here the defensive ones too. Nine development and eight development. Uh, looks like we're spending a little bit of money here. But hey, that's still good though. Uh, we lost a claim on somewhere. Oh, oh, we, we also have access to do more claims here. Uh, we don't have enough government reforms. Oh, there's a lot of government reforms. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, we can't do exile colonial companies. Uh, can't do that. Decentralized bureaucracy, max promoted cultures. Don't care about that. Uh, monthly autonomy change. Yeah, let's go for that. All right, but uh, so we shall continue. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Lost our claims on, so we're losing a bunch of claims we've had for a little bit. We were not able to press them. Uh, one stability or some prestige and a level two artist. Nope. <laughs> stability it's the first time we've been positively stable in a long time uh so ooh, fabricate claim get that claim back you don't want to lose the ability to declare war just in the case i need it diplomatic relations not really something i can leverage but uh I don't need those points right now, so let's get it. Soon enough, we'll be able to get our second colonist, though. That's going to be nice. Uh, settler chance. Oh, and settler chance plus five, too. So they're both nice. Uh, my war exhaust still hasn't gone down to zero from the last war. Uh, but, uh... Disinherit.
there's one of them that was like the independent, right? So I'm independent, but I need Fort Level 3 in all provinces in the perm area owned by perm area perm, which is not the case. We do not own all provinces in the perm area. Great advisor has died. Oh, that's not good. It was cheap. I like my cheap advisor. I want a cheap advisor back. Nope, no other cheap advisors. Oh, we lost another claim, didn't we? I want, uh, yeah. This is the one I want for sure. All the other claims are less important than that one. Fighting in another war. Otherwise, you would be willing to join if you were not fighting in another war. Increase that to our maximum. I can't fabricate a claim because I don't even know these exist. But maybe I can steal a map, and then I know these exist. Not like I can uh, do much about it right now, but nonetheless. Where is my... Okay, so I can still... We can gain a claim here, too, on Yuska. End of the Castilian Civil War. That doesn't affect us over here. It sucks because I, I oh, lost money from a random event and I'm losing money every month now. I'm no longer positive in money flow, mainly because I'm not getting any war reparations anymore from Muscovy and friends. I can't really attack you even if I really want to. Oh, you're not even that good. Royal marriage from Poland? Yes, please. Okay, let's not spend these points yet. But, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted a royal marriage from Poland. Do I? Is there anyone else that wants to do anything or even close to doing anything? Uh,. No, Moldavia is the only one that might want to ally me, but Muscovy, <laughs> Muscovy wants to ally me almost, uh, and then Razan, but no one of relevance. Uh, Razan wants me to become, if I can become their tributary state. They will accept. I do not really want to become their tributary state, though. Uh, break royal ties, support air in Poland. Issue and guard, give subsidies. Cancel trade steering. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, so no one wants to do anything with me. Ooh, I have 50 here. Can I steal one of your maps? Yes. So I think I should focus on stealing West Siberia. 28. Firm. Really? So it, it won't let me... Won't let me see here. I guess this is not West Siberia and neither is this. But hey, it at least lets me continue my colonization effort. Really? Uh, one province. Okay, so someone shared a map. Okay. The non stealing it way. Who would do that? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. I want the next one over, which. No. This guy. If 
you were just accepting would destabilize Poland. If I could just figure out, like, if that could just go away, then we would not have this issue. And you could help me take some more land. That is what I need to do to be able to be more independent of everything. Uh, do I want... Okay, the only negative is max absolution and some less taxes. That's okay. Especially since we definitely need the loyalty right now anyways. So we're down to plus five, so let's give it a little bit. Oh, we have a neighbor who is already aware of this. So let's give it a little bit so that we can get to 5% and then we'll get both of these. No rush. I, I kind of want that so I can start... Well, I don't have the money to colonize anymore, but I can get the plus five settler's chance. Send a letter to the Queen of Poland asking for her for money. Uh, asking her for administrative aid or prestige. See what she says. Ooh, nice. I really like that. There we go. And our cavalry cost has gone cheaper. And we have an extra settler, which we won't be using because we can't afford to. But this guy should now have a 5% more chance of new settlers every month. Salt. Salt is good, right? Salt is expensive. Three. Salt is good. I just need Lithuania to, I mean Poland, to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll attack him for you. Or here. Oh, this is not, this situation over here still has not gotten any better. How are we doing on these points anyways? We have 12, we have uh, 20, so we can spend some to uh, trade favor for trust. Could use a little bit more trust. Inflation for administrative points. Deal. Over here. Fabricate claims. Oh, something happened. Oh, I need air. Uh... I have some royal wedding, but I don't have a consort. How do I get it? I just wait? Personal union with Poland would be very hard to get out of. Let's get these. Now that we're at negative five. 20 legitimacy and 20 prestige. Seems like it's worth it. Oh, for a subpar air too. Oh, not like that. Get that. Uh, our agent was discovered. That's not good. Fabricate the claim just in case. We never know when we might need it. Let's remove that for now. Uh, let's get some trust in here. Fix this boss to prevent will prevent Poland from calling you into any of their offensive wars. So, but we can't get any, any favor. Okay, so we're not going to that box because I need the favors. Uh, I also need you to stop being destabilized by Novgorod. 
or I want you to stop having a whole ton, a whole ton of friends. Stop that, both of you. Oh, look at that, that was a much quicker increase. You have uncontested claims that will expire. Yes, thank you. I cannot necessarily contest them because I cannot afford to go to war without my friends. And you want to be my friend? No, you do not. The Emperor has decided to go through the reform. So first reform there. Uh, and I do not have enough money. That would be nice to have this, but I would need to take over this from Novgorod. Truce expired with Muscovy. Uh, we have gained a trade conflict past his belly against Muscovy. Oh wow, an actual cast of belly I can use without being near them. But you do not want to join. Domineering attitude towards Perm. Oh, that's not nice. That means you won't help me here either? Oh, come on. Really? I spent all that on trust and now you were like, uh, how about we uh, gobble you up? I don't like this at all. Poland is gonna... What? But... Uh, okay, well, let's see here. What can I do about this? Can I uh, trade my... Can I get more trust? I don't. Confirm. So will that extra trust help you not want to dominate me? Still doesn't look like it's making a difference. Oh, Uzbek is about to declare war on us. Because Poland just broke their alliance with us. We are so screwed. Okay, so... Kazan, you said you would be willing to take us as your uh, tributary state, right? You are no longer... Why is your trust so low? What did I do to make you not trust me? But Kazan is willing to do this. I can still... I'm. This is probably my best option right now. I am still have independent diplomatic relations with other countries. Confirm. So that should at least keep me alive. And that means I can... Oh, but I can't attack. But you're my overlord. But I guess this would... Uh, now I'm not getting, well, we'll see if I'm getting attacked by Uzbek anymore. Price of paper has went up. He's still there. You would defend me, right? Yes. I think I, this seems like it might be the end of the first playthrough soon if oh, his, his men are leaving the border. Uh, so, you are, I need you to stop being friendly with them, so I can attack no god. Uh, I can also attack you, but that'd be kind of pointless. I really just need to attack no god or Uzbek, and I'd be good. I'll, I'll come back for you later, but uh, very. Why did you do that, Poland? We had so much trust. Now you are unwilling to be an ally with me. Yes. Is there anyone else that's willing to be like allies? Not, not even close. Not even close. 
let's see. So the best thing I can do is try to. Did covert actions negative ninety four? I did a lot of covert actions. Do I get anything here? I guess I don't really need to care about Poland's opinion of me anymore. So it looks like I lost my icon, so I need a new one. Uh, okay, let's get institutions. Because I do would like the idea of getting my technology back up eventually. Not that it's happening anywhere here, but it is happening here. I could develop this, have what it takes. Like that, and now we should be getting some. This is still Europe. Yeah, there you go. Now it's getting some progress. So at least that's a little bit. Uh, I can make it up to 20 development and that would help too, but uh, let's not go crazy here. Our overlord wanted us to send them five. Refuse are okay. Declining will disrupt the relationship and decrease their trust. Let's not do that. Fall. I'm assuming Kazan is the only reason that Uzbek didn't attack me. So I'm going to keep that, keep that as my primary assumption. How are we doing over here? Doing pretty good. Still doing okay. Uh, did they really take 15 ducats? That's more than my year's worth of ducat profit. Maybe I read that wrong. Maybe it wasn't 15. Yeah, expiring Cass's belly. That's fine. Not much I can do about it. I can't attack Muscovy. I can only attack Uzbek, Kazan, or Novgorod, and none of these are viable targets at the moment. Oh, oh, I miss Oak. Oh, you're still not. Unless Kazan can, like, player is hostile, so friendly. Cannot be friendly. Neutral. Your opinion of me is bad. Relationship, improve relations. Let's try to build up that relationship because uh, you're not gonna help Novgorod. If you could help me, that sounds like it would work. Uh, I'd have to make, I'd have to completely devastate our trust together by taking land that you want, but Still, firm is considered. Firm considers some of their. I oh, okay. So that is my here. Stop that. Oh, I can't stop that. I can't stop thinking of firm as vital interest. So that will make this very hard. Yeah. By very hard, I mean pretty much impossible. Okay, that's good. Uh, five ducats. Yeah, wow, that is a lot of money. Uh, Funny patriarch authority. That's okay. Oh, no, Poland. Poland. No. Well, I can't attack you now. Even if you were my ally, which you're not going to be. 
I think it will be difficult to get you to be my ally. Ow, minus 3,000. So I make the clergy happy. I make the clergy unhappy, which seems to be... I make them both unhappy. Uh, clergy loses 10 influence. Yeah, let's go with that one. That's the most uh, balanced one. But uh, so that means I still can't do anything. I can. Uh... Wow. Need I really need? Why is Poland all of a sudden your ally? I know Poland liked you. That's why I couldn't convince them to attack you. But come on. Okay, let's get this done with the extra bonus idea. These things still have bonus ideas, right? Yeah, minimum autonomy in territory minus 10%. So I guess that's good. Uh, either way, we're done with that idea. So Novgorod declared war on Muscovy with the help of Poland. Um, Novgorod's gonna grow and I'm just gonna stay here and be nothing. Uh, anytime I'm not dead yet. Get myself some uh, hit points. Oh, you're going at war too? So everyone's going at war with Muscovy. Wow, Muscovy's being split up like Poland was. But me, I'm, I'm the only one not getting a piece of this. Why are you even there? Yeah, you're still not willing to ally with me, even with uh, maximum like that. With some trust, you're still not willing to ally with me. Neither are you. Six. Oh. So expensive. I need Poland to stop trying to defend you just like Kazan. Uh, and then I need Kazan to help me. Would you be willing to take me as a tributary? I don't see the option. They want to get administrative points instead of money now. I kind of feel like that's probably a better deal. Uh, nothing I can do. I just feel like Muscovy was my main hope to being able to make anything and well that obviously didn't happen my trust is going away I spent good good uh, favors on that trust you just prayed me because you were like oh and he doesn't even isn't even domineering anymore uh, he doesn't care to be my ally anymore so he's not domineering he just doesn't care about me anymore. And you have far too many allies, you're my liege, etc. You have far too many allies, or uh, one too many allies. I can't do anything about you. And you're not willing to become my ally. Close, but not there. Uh, Raku. We're changing it to manpower. That's okay, I'm not using that.
So close. No one else is willing to offer me an alliance. They're not showing up here, so I'm guessing they can't actually offer me an alliance, even if, if subjects can't ally their overlord. Yeah, exactly. So even if I was to get them to say okay, they wouldn't do it because they're my overlord. So they're not going to assist me in attacking Novgorod. And I can't take them on by myself. Uh, Muscovy here is also not willing to be my friend. Sweden here be my only hope, but I can't. My only hope would really be to, like, say Novgorod is my rival and then try to get uh, Denmark or Muscovy to this. But I can't get them as my rival. Uh, how is my inflation doing? How much does it cost to reduce inflation? Nah, I don't need uh, dip points that much. He wants manpower. Self-sustainable. Four. And I guess next, can I would be one of these? This one's kind of, kind of okay. And it's five development. Uh, for, oh, 50 administrative points though. Oh, that is always the one that is tempting. That is always very tempting. But I can't mess with clergy right now. They don't have enough loyalty, sadly. So let's, yeah, let's go take this up. Uh, Perm gains tributary incident. Uh, ten lo we lose 10 loyalties to the burgers, not very good, but I would much rather lose, yeah, I would much rather that. So we send over Itomi. And slowly but surely it should build up. Severe winters here and Arctic. Wow, it's a... Uh, Not a fun place to be. But hey, it's a five development, so it's better than most of my provinces. Okay. If I have a Novgorod spy network is getting pretty big. Uh, stop building counter espionage. Oh no, I don't want any of that. You over here, gonna go back to trying to steal your maps. I expect Kazan to protect me from you. <laughs> uh, I look pretty big though, right? Uh, my my name is big. I should come for something. Okay, so let's keep let's keep at it. Part of me feels like almost restarting because I really got screwed by Kazan attacking Muscovy when I was rebelling. I could have took so much of Muscovy and like basically replaced Muscovy. I was in such a good position for that. But then Kazan was like, no, no, I'm taking this land and I'm blocking you from taking any more of the land. And now I'm stuck here. Colonizing with not enough money to do so. Can I afford to drill? No, I cannot. Oof, not afford to drill. So they're back to taking ducats from me. Ooh, Novgorod has embraced Renaissance. So does that mean I should, they should eventually propagate to over here. So that's good. Can I get like a, where is it? Donor economy or no, but I want to learn from them.
Ooh, these are a lot of options. Well, I guess we should uh, go back up to plus one. At least we're stable. Stable in our efforts to just exist at the moment. Oh, we have a spell up. Oh, we can get another stability. Oh, we have a mission. Which one? Okay, which mission? How can we tell which one is complete? Oh, this one. So, consolidate the state. Our future survival. What do we gain? We gain 10 prestige and 50 admin. Permanent claim on East. Sniper area. And we need two stability, number of states three, total army size. Okay, well, where's East Sniper? Oh, doesn't matter. Let's just get it. Uh, so we should now have claims in an area of some kind. We have gained, I guess, wow, really? This is where we gain claims here? Permanent claims here. Okay. Yeah, east. First, okay. So I guess the next task is to, next mission would be to like take over those. The fertile line of the Niper were part of the Roost domain. They shall be again. All provinces in that area owned by Perm. So yeah, that's why I gained those claims, so that I can, uh, yeah, go and conquer this area. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have the money to build myself that capital port. Get more claims. We have claims everywhere. Can I declare war on you yet? No, no, I cannot. Will you offer me an alliance? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, that's not happening. Alliance. I need to be able to make rivals, and I cannot make rivals. I am too weak. There are no appropriate nations for Pern to pick as a rival, either due to being too strong or too weak. Which is, uh, yeah, I'm definitely too strong. That, that's why. Definitely too strong. No. Uh, yeah. So if we have this one cord, we will have unrest, negative sounds, that's pretty good. And then we can continue down this path. They're all crappy. Oh, this one's seven, actually. This one's not that bad. They're all relatively crappy lands. For some money, not worth it. They're all relatively crappy lands, but I will still try. Austria has declared war on Hungary. And... Muscovy still exists, somehow. Yeah, see, now he would offer us an alliance, but uh, we can't because... My overlord. Yes, I know it's not happening. Sorry, this is not happening. I was I really thought I could have done this, but design is proved too powerful in terms of uh, allies. And Novgorod has proved too powerful in terms of allies, and Uzbek is just too powerful. I'm 
it's really not that they're too powerful, I'm too weak. It would be much more accurate to say. What's this? So I get some money or lots of prestige. Okay, I can get lots of prestige. So I'd have to be at a development of 20 to get the next uh, spread, right? So at 20, I'd get an extra 0.04. Uh, get myself more legitimacy. Overlord, yes. Maybe I can uh, try to increase the spread here too. There's no maintenance in capital, right? Uh, Mamluks have gone golden era. And this is naval supplies? What? I guess, kinda. Okay, let's not buy this yet for sure. Yeah, the agenda is about to expire. There's no surprise here. I can get rid of this, right? Oh no, that got rid of 20. Why did I get rid of so much? I guess I didn't understand how that, I thought it would only get rid of the bonus of five, but it gets rid of a lot more. It's like a punishment for getting rid of it, type of thing. Ottomans got golden era. Ottomans are still alive, which is pretty good. 100 population in Komi, very good. Yes, yes, give them all their money. Any rebels to support? Way too expensive. Well, we can uh, steal maps from you. Let's see, where do we? We can steal from uh, Mongolia. Sixty-one provinces. That is some good knowledge. But oh, we can't. Nope, we can't do Mongolia. Where can we? Where can we do? We can do Ural, which is one province. I'm guessing it's this one province. Or I can fabricate a claim on here. So I can either know what this guy is here, or, uh, yeah, let's steal that. That's very weird having not seen that area. Now I can see the full land of Nagai. Not that it really matters, but you know, it's still strange that there was an unknown spot right there. Uh, let's see, just double checking to see if there's anything that changed. Nope, Poland really likes Novgorod. And Kazan is really liked by everyone. And Uzbek. Doesn't have much allies, but I still, I can't take them on one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that. It's going to be ridiculous. I, I'm not doing that at all. I need someone to, like, attack and destroy some people. Knowledge is power. Or losing some prestige. Let's get rid of some prestige. Okay, well, that's not a big deal. I really need someone to mess up the power balance here. Either attack. Sweden or Denmark attack Novgorod, Nagai attack Kazan, uh, Oririt or Chagatai can attack Uzbek. Someone needs to do something so I can piggyback. Uh, money or PowerPoint. Always get the PowerPoints. Uh, our overlord Kazan, and that we send them money. Get 
this. Okay, so now we have slots for a second idea. So we can get uh, exploration, which would be no. No, we can get, uh, let's go for a military idea. I don't know if uh, quantity is still very good, but uh, national manpower modifier, manpower recovery speed, regiment cost, land maintenance modifier, supply limit, which is would be very beneficial. Garrison size, land, attrition, and land force limit modifier, 50%. That still seems very good. 50%. There's also defense was pretty good if I remember correctly. Uh, army tradition, morale of army 15%. That was the key there. We can also grab I feel like I just need more men. I feel like that would be quantity. Either quantity or defensive. For enemies. Siege ability is also very nice right there, but I just I need to I need to be bigger presence so that I can make rivals and try to play the political game a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with quantity. So I'm gonna grab you. Where, where are you again? National manpower modifier. I'm gonna grab everything I can. We're very close. Unrest went down. And yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna get the military ideas are more important to me than the military technology, especially with our current level of lack of uh, institutions. I don't need a skill three tra trader. That's not useful in any way. Uh, let's see here. We're still at limit of max, but hey, if we finish up this idea, we should be able to go up to almost 15, 14. Yeah, the agenda is gone. Yes, I know. Uh, so what happens if I try to make them? They all get five influence, but they all get five loyalty. Eh, influence is not that bad. I do want those that loyalty. Is there anything in here that I can actually complete? This would be like... Have a church or have a Bastilia, uh in one of my provinces. So in my capital, I can either build a church, what I would build, then I gain one base tax, which isn't the worst. I need to get the money for that though. Uh, I need to build a barracks in my capital or have a barracks. Oh, this is both. Have a barracks and a bas Oh, one one of the following. One of the following. Okay. So it's either... Uh, right, this, this area. So... Where's the building? Building right here. So we need to build... A church. Or a basilica. And yeah. And a, or a barracks. And a training field. For that one, Perm has 40% more or more trade power in the White Sea. That's never going to happen. So do I want to make... Clergy seems to be the more reasonable thing. I think getting a church is more reasonable than uh, getting an army. Our army, this is just manpower modifier. So go with clergy again. Uh, let's go to my income. Now I can build that church. Yeah, so let's build that church. Kazan will be attacking the guy. Oh, okay. 
I don't think this will work out well for Nagai, but this could disturb things if if something goes wrong. Guy has no allies and seems pretty hopeless for him. But if something goes wrong, yeah, because I declared war on a guy, I can maybe go and turn around and be like, "Hey, Kavan, look at look at me." Oh, even even you're involved. Wow, you really brought in all your friends, you brought in Novgorod and Kazan. I don't. I think that might be a little overkill. But if I could just get, just get you out of here. Yes, let's pay up. My innovation is decreasing. Oh, that's not good. Because I'm behind on tech, I guess. Well, let's fix that. There you go. And... Deep iron. Good if I wanted to make any of those, which I don't at the moment. Let's get rid of this. Okay, that's good. Abilities are less influential, which is never a bad thing. So I have completed the agenda, so they should be happy. I gain one extra base tax and they get more loyalty. That's and I get the money, like not only including the base tax, so it's good. So that should increase my taxes by quite a bit. More than making up for those loans I had to take out. At least that's the idea. What are you doing in my land? Oh, you're at war with Timurids. Oh, you're... I still don't know why you're doing in my land. But, uh, good luck, I guess? Poland, stop this. Poland, someone just roll over Poland? Like Ottoman, attack Poland. Is that what you're doing right now? No, you're not. You're only attacking Austria, Hungary. That's fine. I don't know why Mongolia cares about access through me, but uh, a lot of people will be unhappy. I get some. Let's, let's keep people happy. I'm not strong enough to flex like that. Why can I do something with my points yet? Anyone wants to do anything? Kavan, it would be the only one, but that's because they're my overlord. That doesn't really count. Or Poland. Poland just needs to get rolled over by someone. It's not likely given that they have Lithuania under their belt. So happy when they were my ally and then I was not able to leverage that at all. Oh, look at that, this one's almost done. This will be nice. This is a pretty good province for us to fully core. Autonomy is 50%, but that's where it starts. Not a big deal. But still, that, that's an extra 15 first. And it'll eventually grow to being more. So I guess next would be you. I don't see any other option. And after that, I probably want you because you're seven. Does that help me uh, have better power projection? It does. Okay. Were you like standing on me and that caused me to like have attrition or something? Why are my men unhappy? Why are my men all hurt? Stop that. Yeah, stop 
What are they're standing on me and that's causing me to lose my people? Oh, what? Why are you guys even in my territory? Don't like this at all. Uh, I'll take the prestige. I'll give you your money. Can't we keep that up? Oh, you go. Can't move you. Eventually move over here. The new consort. Some sort of the people. Oh, no, I don't want that. I already have an heir. I don't need a consort. Like, it's not a good heir, don't get me wrong. It's going to cause me problems. But, yeah. Oh, that sucked. Global settlers decreased? I don't want that. Oh, I can get a trade company. I, I, can't, I don't want a trade company. I want actual men and stuff. Did I set myself any rivals yet? No. Okay. Must be as embraced the Renaissance. How are you doing on that front anyways? So you're embraced, so I should be getting some over here from you. Uh, it's better than that, but still. And you keep walking through Pegatai. Why is Chagatai walking? Why? Chagatai does not belong up here. But yeah, Nagai is not doing very well. Obvious. That's not a surprise. No one would have expected them to win. Let's do that. No. Oh, it's a great war. It's the great horde at war against Nagai, too. Yeah, everyone seems to be at war against Nagai. See? Great horse taking advantage of one of his neighbors getting into a war. Why can't I do that? I want that. Oh, another government reform. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we can get Mer meritocratic recruitment, which I advise our cost is cheaper. Burger's loyalty equilibrium. Burger's influence, we can get leader cost cheaper, nobilities go up, or we can go administrative free policies. Is that, what are those? Is this what they're talking about? Like I can't do any, but is it talking about like these are free? Like this would cost me and then we'd have one free instead of one costing. Land force limit modifier and global settlers increase. Both sound very nice. Uh, and that being free instead of costing me something does sound very nice also. But I also like the idea of advisor costing less because then I could actually start using them a little bit more. Uh, I'm so so poor, I can't do that though. I'm gonna try this. This seems a little bit more interesting. Oh, plus one reform. Oh. Administrative free policies. The only thing I that rings a bell is these policies. I can get one for free as soon as I finish up with uh, military ideas. Oh, Canada. Someone shared a map with Canada. I need I need to conquer Canada, so that's relevant to me. At the moment, I'm not conquering anything. But, uh, ooh, Novgorod isn't going to join you. But you still have all of your uh, vassals that you would get in. But Uzbek would still join too, which is uh, 
Definitely a no no. Oh! So that's no guy. No guy like sneaks his way up here for some reason. I thought maybe Sweden decided to take some action, but no. Oh, no, they did not. Can I uh, put a rival yet? No, I cannot. Should I send someone over here? No, okay, so I need to colonize this before I can send someone to the next one. So if I wanted to, I could use my colonists to try to develop some of my more undeveloped areas, like over here. That's a pretty good chance of getting a development. 66% for this one for some reason. Wow. Like saying I'll send 24 ducats to almost a guaranteed chance of getting a development point here. I don't know why that one was so 12%. don't really know what this percentage is based off of, but uh, it does say it goes, chances reduce as to higher development and affected by local development cost modifiers. Oh, so I guess this has some good cost modifiers compared to here, which has some, well, this one has the Arctic, which is probably what brought it down. So if I go over here with both Arctic, with, uh, the Arctic, it should also be pretty bad. 15%, yeah. So I could, but I'm, I'm gonna try to save up some money. We do need to uh, fill these people in. Yes, let's give them the money. We're never gonna save money. There will be blood. Our agent was discovered. Not that it's doing us much good. Poland to stop carrying us. Ah, definitely not stop carrying there. I still can't take you on even if you didn't have any allies. I think I can repeat alone if you wait one month. Novgorod would not like me, but I don't care about that. Get some more trade power. Yeah, let's do that. Pay that loan. Are you are you gonna let me attack you or or should I folk should I get this military idea, maybe? It is pretty good, a pretty good military idea, but uh, I do really want this land force limit modifier. Can't afford anything. Can't afford to do anything. Can't afford to be anything. Yeah, technology costs are through the roof. So I'm gonna focus. Yeah, this is more efficient use of my uh, point. Here, yes, we we pay our tribute to Kazan. Did like us by now? No, not even. He doesn't like us at all. It's because he he had like a claim on all of us. Um, I don't need more diplomatic relations. Thank you. I guess. They gain 10 influence. Uh, let's see here. How do I get myself out of this? Just if you didn't have that. I don't know if I could actually attack you as you as it stands. I can try. 
Oh yeah, land, but I can go over land force limit, right? Emperor did stuff. It's still more maps. Actually, I don't think I can. I have to have people in more of the map of the world to be able to steal more maps. So I'll fabricate claim on the last claimable province. Fair. And I have a bunch of claims here, a bunch of claims here, and then I have my permanent claim for perm, which I will get eventually. I, you hear me, Kazan? I will come for that. Cannot stop me. Forever. It's not reinforcing my army because I don't pay for army maintenance. Is that the problem? I can't afford this army. Let's uh, pay for a little, little bit. So we can... Yeah, there we go. Now we are the army fully reinforced and back into the capital. Ooh, that was Yes, yes, yes. Legitimacy or prestige. We will go for prestige. We're actually doing pretty good. On, we're doing better on the money front. I wouldn't say pretty good. But we're doing better on the money front. We're actually getting some renaissance spread. Not in Novgorod. Got discovered. Not a big deal. Got some fur. Not very good. Anyone here? Administrative points, I prefer that anyways. Poland is still willing to defend you. Everyone is still willing to defend you. Great horde. And I, I couldn't even touch you if I wanted to. And I do. I couldn't do anything about it. Peace. That's always nice. Nice little bonus for using the peaceful method to help increase the uh, colonization. Set the demands. That's okay. I'm not very concerned about my reforms. We're like halfway to a tier seven reform. What would be next? State general. Yes, always do that. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you guys are you're paying your army. Why are you paying your army? What are you planning? Okay, are you back to training your army? Okay, he's training it. I was like, why are you not training your army? Why are you paying your army on my border? I did not like what that meant. Ottomans will attack someone. Please make it so. Please go to war and somehow involve Poland. That would be appreciated. Look, you can. Uh, Poland cares about this. You can attack that. Make Poland very busy. So busy that Novgorod can't... Oh no, Kazan likes him now? Ah. No, Kazan, you're not supposed to defend Novgorod. Oh, look at that, this is a first. Oh, okay, I have presence on two countries. Okay, so what's anything here useful for me? Uh... Unrest minus five, don't care about that, don't care about that. I'm not conquering anything right now. Strives for subject, peace treaty, at half cost. No, more tax, no. Uh, no. Ooh, that actually sounds good. 
Yeah, I, know. I definitely, I want that. So when this is finished, it will be a six instead of a five. That is, that is really nice, actually. And that would make this a 10 instead of a seven. And more importantly, some of that will be in the military group. Also very nice. This changes everything. One moment. Everything. Birth of colonialism. Firm gets shady people until the 8th of January, 1505. Or I get some. Um, Novgorod declared war on Muscovy. Okay, so that's a uh, standard per... Standard thing, right? We lost a claim. Oh, look at that. We can regain that claim. And yeah, you everyone would help you again. Nothing special here. But hey, colonization is a little bit more profitable than it was before, so that's good. So this missionary, this maintenance here. Affecting our settler growth by 45 per year. Okay. So they will ask for manpower this year. Okay. What about you? Can I do anything to your... I can't steal any maps anymore. Oh, I can get more West Siberia. Look at that, I learned about something in West Siberia. Thank you. Covered while building a spine at work. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, it's getting late. I'm going to continue this. Uh, I think my next EU4 stream schedule for next week. I mean, schedule yeah, on Monday. So I'll continue this on Monday. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I didn't pause it. Uh, okay. Okay, I lost my benefit there. They tell us of an heir to the throne of Burgundy. Oh, what? So they did attack this. What did that? Wow. That was... I did not notice that at all. So Poland won't help you, but now Kazan will help you. I really just want no one to help you and see where I stand. Didn't we see his military might... He has 14k manpower. Wow, he has 36k soldiers. I can't even take him on even if he had no friends. Why do you... Why? Oh, wow, he has a lot more men than I thought he did. And he has better technology than I do. Even if I were to get this... No wonder I can't put anyone as my rival so much stronger than me in every way wow they are oh I didn't even notice this but equivalently strong in number of men as Poland huh. don't like this don't like this at all 
Will you be my will you be my uh, ally? No. Okay, well, I'll see what I do on Monday. Uh, but till then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.